Romania is a beautiful country situated in Central Europe and we want to share our travel guide with you. Romania is roughly the size of the state of Oregon in the United States. It has had a tumultuous past, but on Christmas of 1989, they gave themselves the gift of freedom from communism. Today, they thrive with a republic, with a multi-party system. You will find lots to do and see in this picturesque country. The capital of Romania is Bucharest, so plan to stay in this bustling city as your base for exploring the country. If you want to walk to restaurants and explore the nightlife, Old Town is definitely the place to be. We rented an Airbnb on the edge of Old Town. It was fantastic to enjoy, be able to walk right into Old Town and enjoy the restaurants and enjoy a lot of sights right in that area. But it was also fantastic because it was on the edge of Old Town and it was very quiet in that area. Old Town is a must see, so be sure to visit the Old Town churches. You'll also want to visit the famous Carousel Bookstore and Cafe Van Gogh. Not far from Old Town, you will find Victory Square. This is the famous square where the battered dictator Nicolae Ceausescu and his wife were shot to death on Christmas in 1989. From Victory Square, head to the Romanian Athene. This gorgeous structure is open to the public as long as there is not a concert that night or the night before. For just a few dollars, you can walk in and do your own tour and take some pictures while you're in there. You won't be disappointed. It's a beautiful structure inside. As you leave the Athenium though, be sure to head down Benjamin Franklin Street to grab a delicious eclair at French Revolution. There are also other, a couple other sweet spots in this area. Try chocolate if you're looking for something to eat as well. They also have a lot of great desserts. Or if you're looking for a little tea party, I would head up to Mara Mora for some delicious desserts and that tea. The hop on hop off bus is less than $10 for a 24 hour pass. It will take you to all the great sites in the city and you can hop on, hop off and enjoy all day and then head home. The bus runs from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. If you're there on a weekend though, you're gonna to wanna to head to Uniri Square to see the fountain show. The streets around the fountain are closed to traffic and open to pedestrians. You become part of the show and the fountains go off all around you. When the show is over, you walk down to enjoy a beautiful view of the Palace of Parliament all lit up at night. If you want to visit the palace, make sure to get your tickets in advance. You can walk up and get tickets, but you may not get in because the tickets do sell out. We used Get Your Guide to guarantee that we got tickets. You can also call ahead and reserve tickets, but you must be able to do so in Romanian. <laughs> so check the schedule online as the palace is closed during parliament sessions and when important dignitaries are visiting. We were here for a month and there were only three days that it was open to the public where we could visit. If you love swimming and the spa, do not miss Therm Spa. This magical place is located near the airport. You can purchase tickets upon arrival. We used an Uber to take us there. There are several packages available, but the best bang for your buck will be the Elysium package. It is about 20 US dollars, which is insane that it's that inexpensive to do something like this. The ticket price includes your locker, towel, use of all of the spas. Uh, they also have massage beds that you can use that's included in that and uh, several different mineral baths as well. You will have access to the water park area and slides, the wave, wave pools, and then you can also enjoy some time in the outdoor mineral uh, pools as well as a uh, kind of man-made beach area. You don't want to leave Romania without visiting the famed Transylvania region. This area has many fortified churches. We went to Rajnov Fortress and had a great time exploring the area. We also had a chance to see some of the original weapons used to fight. The views were not half bad either. Brashov was next on our list of places to visit in Transylvania. Brashov is one of the most visited places in Romania. It is home to one of the narrowest streets in Europe, which is about four feet wide. It was originally used by firefighters as an access route. 
be sure to see the black church whose name comes from the black smoke damage done during a fire in 1689 it is home to one of the largest organs in europe after your visit to the black church walk right over to the town hall square this is a beautiful area to grab some lunch and to people watch lots of places for you to sit there and just enjoy if the weather's nice you can bring your lunch over and just have a nice time sitting there enjoying the nice fresh air and the great views of the beautiful buildings Brad Castle is on everyone's list when visiting Romania. It is the castle referred to as Dracula's Castle. Walk up the steep walkway to tour inside this beautifully maintained castle. The furniture inside is, however, not the original. It was do donated by the descendants of the owners. This castle is thought to have been the inspiration for the Dracula legend in Bram Stoker's novel. Romania is not lacking in beauty and there is so much to see. This guide is not comprehensive, but it will give you an idea of what you can do and see on your next visit to Romania. Please share with us if this guide was helpful and let us know in the comments what you liked if you visited this area and what you visited as well.